Hi everyone, in this video I am going to tell you how can you become a scientist starting from class 9th or class 10th. Yes, it is possible even in India. Now you might ask me what exactly is a scientist, right? So to be clear, I want to tell you how you can do projects like a scientist, how you can get access to the resources and facilities to become a scientist in India and how being in class 9th and 10th you can do your own research projects you can work under professors in premier research institutes like IC Bangalore, Iser Pune, All Isers, Niger, ISI, CMI and so on all these top research institutes in India and guess what no one told you ever but it is possible absolutely possible you can see one of my videos about Nice Argic, a student who started a small project from class 9th. He was just a, another student like all of you coming from a small village in Odisha. He saw that, you know, a lot of people are having cancer around his locality because of chromium present in the soil. With the help of his science teachers, he wanted to do a project. Because of this project, he also got President's Medal and he even represented India in International Science Fair. Can you imagine that? Being in class 9th, 10th only. And when he came to class 11th, he wanted to further continue the project and he started asking for various professors and various places if he could get any guidance. And fortunately, after many rejections, you know, he asked a lot of professors and everyone told them, you're just in class 10th. You cannot do anything, right? So all of these people rejected him, but finally he was able to convince a professor at Niger, Dr. Panigrahi, and he got into his lab. He started working on, you know, his project. He started doing his own research work in initial three, four months. He learned from the PhDs and all his, he was using Raman spectroscopy and all, an instrument with, which is worth crores. And he was able to see all of these things. In schools, you don't even get access to microscopes and all. Even the test tubes and, you know, chemicals are so rare. A lot of schools do not provide you these facilities. But being in class 9th and class 10th or class 11th, you can get access to instruments which are worth 3-4 crores if you come into these premier research institutes. Obviously, you will not be directly able to, you know, operate these instruments because even master's students are not allowed. But you will be able to see, you know, an instrument which is worth 3-4 crores. A spectroscopy you can do. You can see atoms. You will get to know that how we all know that uh, a certain material has these kinds of atom how you can actually see the molecules if you get crystals there is a single crystal x-ray diffraction machine how you can see individual atom in that crystal and molecule so all of these things you can explore being in school itself so for that first of all i will recommend you to watch my full video and interview with Nysargic, who is now pursuing his research bachelor's in johns hopkins usa he rejected mit okay he was getting multiple offers but he rejected MIT because he wanted to do research in a particular topic in biology which did not have very good you know facilities in MIT but at Johns Hopkins this project was going on as a result he chose Johns Hopkins and for those of you who don't know what MIT and Johns Hopkins is just google these names and you will get to know that these are the top institutes in the world okay if you want to pursue any kind of education let's say bachelor's master's PhD in science or non-science subjects. Now, so first of all, please watch that interview and that will give you enormous clarity how you can become a scientist starting from class 9th and class 10th itself. Now, second part I want to cover is that, you know, more practical part which you can use in India itself. So when you are in class 9th or 10th, you know, you can do these projects and all you can uh, think better like a scientist using these projects you can do internships like my Sargi did in all of these premier research institutes but then from class 11th onwards when you choose science stream and choose pcm pcb or pcmb i would highly recommend you all to prepare for research examinations for institutes like iser there are seven ISERs in the country, ISER Pune, Kolkata, Mohali, Bhopal, Brahampur, Tiruvananpuram, Tirupati and these seven ISERs, then there is a NISER National Institute of Science Education and Research in Bhuvaneshwar where I am a master's student right now. In a year, I get 20,000 scholarship and I pay less than 20,000 fees in a year, entire year. Per month, I get 5,000 rupees and I am doing my master's project and research in poor firing derivatives. 
uh, very interesting molecules you have porphyrin in your blood as well okay in the hemoglobin you have that so what i want to tell you is when you are in class 11th and 12th start preparing for these examinations number one iser aptitude test number two nest examination for miser and cbs number three for isi and cmi if you want to become a data scientist if you love mathematics if you want to become a mathematician then isi and cmi then if you want to let's say pursue research in biology mathematics chemistry physics then iser miser cbs as i told you are already there for all these stem subjects physics chemistry maths and bio now apart from this you also have isc bangalore obviously how can i miss that that is the top research institute in the country and then you have iacs indian association for the cultivation of science and this is the only research institute in india which has given us nobel prize you know professors and scientists like dr c v raman professor meghnath saha have done their research in this research institute and even today you can see their research equipments in an archive room and guess what the fees is less than 15000 in entire year and you also get scholarship in your 5 year integrated bsc and msc course about 3 lakh rupees in these 5 years so these were the institutes i want you all to prepare properly then if you want to go to isro then the best institute for you is iist and for that you need to crack actually jee advanced you cannot go through iser aptitude test or nest examination to that now if you want a detailed video on each of these research institutes guess what i am already making i will start with isc bangalore and then for each of these research institutes i will make detailed video why these research institutes are so important so valuable for the country how you can get admission into these what are the courses fees structure eligibility criteria and everything so please like this video right now subscribe to this channel and you will get detailed video for each of these research institute second if you want to prepare for these institutes if you are already in class 11th and 12th don't waste any more time start as soon as you can you can already see lot of free study materials free mock tests previous year papers and even 1 rupee courses in our sayastra app so apart from that if you want to message me personally also any kind of guidance i will definitely reply to you whether you take any of my courses or not and i hope you have already seen our selections all india rank 1 all india rank 12 all india rank 13 more than 400 selections from sayastra in these premier research institutes including all isers nizer isi cmi and so on so with that if you want more resources and videos let me know in the comments below also you can message me personally in the sayastra app all the best see you in the next video jai hind